So check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in. You ever seen the movie Forty Eight Hours? Right now, he's having Forty Eight Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a fifteen year old's dream. No, check this out. No homo. No homo. Come here, man. Hey, yo, Kevin, come here. No homo. We're gonna have a contest. You know we're gonna have a contest, we're gonna get our breath first, cause your breath is stinking sometimes. And we're gonna go back and forth. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. Uh, you know, first of all, make, make sure my mic is on. Uh, before before I even get into to trashing Diddy, you know, I'm gonna acknowledge him on a special day. I bought the album, you know what I'm saying? You bought I, didn't ask, I didn't ask you for nothing. No, you didn't. I didn't ask you for nothing free. Yes, yes. I downloaded it. I didn't you, go to the store because I'm lazy. I thought I'm you said you bought it. You ain't say you downloaded it. Get your download, story right. Download you download starting to act different, huh? No, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Correct. Right. Okay. My number? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody saw me sick, and it felt like no one gave a shit. They criticized the things I did as an idiot kid. Months ago, I was really struggling mentally um, and emotionally, and just there were so many things that were adding up, and I wasn't able to enjoy any of the things yeah. that I owned. That's that's not gonna matter I wasn't, to you. None of the none of the actual things did anything because I was so hurt and I was so confused and I was so sick and there was all these things and I was like, I can't, you know. There's like, you just can't, like you said, you can't enjoy the actual physical, tangible, like, things that money offers, right? Like, um, it, it really had to come from within. So that's, uh, that's, I guess, our perspective. And I think knowing that, like, going back to, like, my faith in that time, like, I feel like I couldn't have, like, It wasn't, yeah, I, I don't know. It just wasn't money and stuff that got me through it. It wasn't all the things. It was like making it, taking the initiative to say, you know, I'm struggling, I need help. Who do I turn to? Who can I call? And one of the, you know, obviously you were there for me. I had so many people who were there for me, but you know, knowing that God was there for me, knowing that, you know, God sent his son to, forget, to you know, die on the cross so that I was forgiven. So reading the Bible and reading the, all these stories that, talk about people who experience similar struggles and face crazy, you know, turmoil in their life. You know, there's always these stories in the Bible that, you know, Jesus would, you know, basically, whether he was healing them or whatever it was, he was always making it the priority that we know that, you know, if our souls aren't anchored, if our souls aren't secure, all the other stuff, you know, whether we're sick or we feel, you know, you know, um, just, whatever it is the facts are that jesus forgives us for the all of the error and the wrong that we you know had you know that we have done in our past and continue to do because of you know the human condition we're all imperfect so you know knowing that you know i was forgiven in a time where i was hurting and broken it, that's what brought me through and let me know that you know don't give up don't give up you're good so these uh big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024 it's up for all of them it don't matter if you diddy or whoever you is tg jakes any of them the all, every all lies will be exposed that's all and and, and and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way the truth is the light and they have no more They are heavily armed and uh, they've been very tactful, would probably be the best word to use as they uh, made entry into this home uh, this afternoon. We actually watched them as they made through their made their way through one of these uh, side gates. And as soon as they got inside the home, one of the things, the first things they did was made their way into this garage that you see is open right there. Now, they did take a couple people into custody. We witnessed that. Now, are they under arrest? Are they just being uh, asked about what they know? That I can't answer, but I can tell you there's three people right there that were taken into custody were, were inside that home. Stop, right? No, nah, not really. I Come mean, on. 
but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, and it was, <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say that. <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh huh. And I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh huh. Biggie Smalls was Biggie there. Biggie Smalls was there. Lil' Kim. Craig Mack. All you know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man. Faith Evans. Jodeci, Mary okay? J. Blosh. They ain't know nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> I was having a good time. You know what I mean? When you continuously call Puff gay, does that affect no. your relationships in Hollywood? I don't call, no, I don't call, I don't call him gay. I said, let I, me read it. Let me read okay, it, read. Fifth. Oh, my God. Sorry I can no longer That's help you guys. <laughs> Soon you will all be gay and happy. You are all now left under leadership of Puffy Daddy. Report to the nearest rainbow. Dinner Thieves. In theaters, January. Oh, Hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. I see you always gallivanting around to all these trips that Kim and I aren't invited on. You wouldn't pick up for the weekend and leave your kids? You don't have help on the weekends. I'm not saying I want to go. Oh, dis. So who was with you this weekend? A bunch of my friends. Diddy, Quincy. Justin Bieber, so far French so good. Montana. <laughs> we know half the people you're naming. No. Are you drinking, Chloe? No. You have to get these margaritas out of here. Why aren't you drinking? Yeah, but last night she didn't go to bed. I haven't been to bed yet. You haven't? I, I want to be Chloe when I grow up, Court. Oh, you're just so little. Like you my balls are just going. <laughs> <laughs> I got on a plane at 5:30 a.m. Well, this party, I think half the people there were butt naked. You would have loved it. I say it's internet. That's, that's what we're calling that it. That belongs to the <laughs> devil. <laughs> Unless you calling that <laughs> the devil, she ain't nothing but employee. Oh, oh. A half of which dumbass bitch. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it's funny that it's, it's crazy you say these Why things. Why don't just... nobody want to accept that bitch bitch? I think she's she went and killed the girl cats. <sighs> okay. A girl went to court mm. and charged her with extreme witchcraft. Mm. She she was hypnotized. She was drugged. Beyonce came and she was in there eating on her and shit while she was asleep. Oh. No snacking on his bitch. Killing people, cats. Mm. And guess what? They wouldn't give her the restraining order. They just told her to stay away from Beyonce and work for somebody else. Guess what? She's having a hard time finding work, too. Which is interesting because she's a brilliant musician. And she was trained at the Berkeley, esteemed Berkeley College of Music. Handpicked by my very good friend, Terry Lynn Carrington. Dr. Terry Lynn Carrington who put together Beyonce's entire female band, which was Matthew Knowles' idea because he couldn't get Beyonce to stop people. Actual, they do weird things in their house and young men have left their house fucking screaming to get away from them and their mentorship. It's a close friend of Jay-Z. What was your reaction to him opening up about his infidelities in uh, the Family Feud uh, video? Yeah. They have to accept what it is and I think I, th I thought it was dope. Um, I, was, no. I was surprised about Lemonade, but I wasn't surprised about You were. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you surprised about Lemonade? I mean, I just didn't see it coming. It was just like... <laughs> you didn't see you didn't see the album coming or you didn't see what was in it coming? I didn't, I didn't see anything. I think like the rest of the world, and I think it was genius. I think Beyonce did, but also Jay on the other side, he did what he had to do. And most importantly, their family stayed tight. This morning, watch how federal agents took Sean Diddy Combs into custody. He's seen in this video entering the Park Hyatt Hotel in Midtown Manhattan with others when agents from Homeland Security Investigations approach and separate him. They place Combs under arrest and lead him out the front door in handcuffs. His lawyer said Combs had come to New York two weeks earlier with the intention of turning himself in. He did not expect the agents to be waiting at his hotel last Monday night. There's been two lawsuits 
that we've been able to see in regards to Diddy. And both of them are, are pretty similar in the sense that they both allege that uh, Puffy- But if y'all go and listen to my videos before, y'all see I done spoke on all this bullshit before. Been telling y'all, Puffy Combs is a homosexual. Any man sitting paying a fucking mill to come and watch him have sex with his girl is a weirdo. That's how that shit goes, y'all. That's how that shit goes. Puffy is a weirdo. Been telling y'all he's a weirdo, but now that it's out, everybody else can benefit from the stories. But G ain't been telling y'all. That's one thing I give him credit for. He been telling y'all. He ain't been saying no words, like I just harshly said it. But. Toys. Do you have any idea what that looks like? Well, I'm gonna show you because that's apparently how many of those they pulled out of the raid, no pun intended, um, on Diddy's house when they also found the thousand bottles of lubricant and baby oil. Now my- This morning, watch how federal agents took Sean Diddy Combs into custody. He's seen in this video entering the Park Hyatt Hotel in Midtown Manhattan with others when agents from Homeland Security Investigations approach and separate him. They place Combs under arrest and lead him out the front door in handcuffs. His lawyer said Combs had come to New York two weeks earlier with the intention of turning himself in. He did not expect the agents to be waiting at his hotel last Monday night. Why doesn't the government want him to turn himself in? Because then they can't ask for detention. So they go and they arrest him. They arrest the guy who came to New York to turn himself in. One, two, three. A day earlier, Combs seen out and about in New York with his family, seemingly in good spirit. The boy, I guess, is, you know, serious about his sports. Um, Puffy is said to be a helicopter dad, you know, shows up and, you know, you know, you know what hel helicopter parenting is. Anyway, a helicopter dad. So apparently um, the team had practice early in the morning and Justin had missed quite a few practices and then he wasn't performing uh, suitable to whoever's watching over the team. I guess they would call that the coach. <laughs> We were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded. We just finished from washing Carisha truck. Yeah. Slippery and, and, soap. And, and Mama Combs. Mama Combs convertible, new, new brand new. Yeah. That brand new, that thing is pristine. Mama Combs, how you like the slippery soap? Yo, I actually washed the car because I'm supporting my brother. I'm not just buying slippery soap. I'm actually using it myself so you know just just stay tuned to see diddy and rose walk conspiracy sex trafficking interstate transportation for the indictment alleges that between at least 2008 and the present combs abused, threatened and coerced victims to fulfill his desires, protect his reputation and conceal his conduct sean combs led and participated in a racketeering conspiracy that used the business empire he controlled to carry out criminal activity, including trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, bribery, and the obstruction of justice. They say a little bit more about the charges. The indictment alleges that Combs abused and exploited women and other people for years and in a variety of ways. As alleged, Combs used force for force and coercion to cause victims to engage in extended performances, male commercial workers, some of whom he transported or caused to be transported. Hey. Um, I've been to a couple Diddy parties. Now, I'm risking a lot by saying this. I've been to lots of parties. I've been to Jamie Foxx. I've been with Snoop, T.I. Like, I've been to lots of places. What I will say is that one particular party, um, lots of big names um there was an artist there who said hey lecrae around 1 a.m make sure you're not here and i was like what you just don't want to be here at one in the morning and i was like now my pride kicked in like yo you don't know me like I, you know what i'm saying like i can handle myself like i'm not some little church boy who ain't never seen nothing like i'm good like you know what i mean like what you talking about well it's probably 12 30 i'm downstairs um i go downstairs to the studio i come up out the studio 
and I'm headed back upstairs to like the main area where everyone's kind of congregating and hanging out and uh, the music changed it was like really hard and heavy at first and then you know like jam and dancing music it was a little softer you know it was a little more sensual when I came out the studio and started going upstairs and on my way upstairs there's like this couch and on the couch I saw a couple of guys really going at it hard and heavy and um man and I was like oh you know I, I, you know my brain I'm thinking well you know the celebrity party people do what they do as I started moving up stairs I passed them up and I noticed that it wasn't just those two guys it was more and more people just going at it I was like okay it's time for me to roll I'm gonna grab my stuff and I'm gonna get up out of here I did not know that's how this went down so was that shocking absolutely was I forced or coerced into anything I was not um but I, why they felt that comfortable I don't know maybe the invite list they was like yeah all these people I, I don't know I I'm I'm for all those in London that don't know what happens to the white man when he comes to a P. Diddy party, this is what happens to the white man. Okay, what happens? Uh, it's so unfortunate. John James comments on P. Diddy getting arrested and basically saying that he had a weird feeling today was the day the feds will actually catch up to Diddy. I guess we can all confirm that LeBron James was the anonymous tipster that gave up. No, no. Y'all yeah, remember before a couple months ago that we saw that LeBron James was saying, ain't no party like a Diddy party. <laughs> Some people will say that LeBron James should go to jail. Chill out, y'all. Hey, we all know that this is a troll post. Well, it is actually true that P. Diddy did go to jail, though. But I mean, about LeBron James' whole situation is crazy, and that's that's lies. But it's still funny just to see that. <laughs> Feel me? Um, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the whole P. Diddy situation and LeBron James. But you may snow what's up. He defended Diddy, stating that what he is accused of doing is nothing new in the world of famous entertainers. He argued that flying women out for parties or intimate gatherings is a common practice among celebrities and should not be considered illegal. Boozy questioned whether it is fair to label women who willingly participate in these experiences as prostitutes, suggesting that if that were the case, then many women would fall under that category. He expressed concerns about the trafficking charge and warned that it could be used as a tool to target high-profile figures in the hip-hop community. My name's Ava. I'm a Scorpio. No, no, no. What's your last name? Oh, Ava Combs. What's your other oh. last name? Ava Baroni. Ava Baroni Combs? Yes, it's, it's breaking news. Diddy adopted a white child. <laughs> I, want you, I want you to tell them the story about how I adopted you. you but you still have beautiful parents that but you're my child also, but please, please tell the story. So, I was <laughs> on the streets, and then Papa Combs decided that he would like to be a caring man. So then he saw me and decided to pick me up and said to come inside and play with his kids. Yeah. <laughs> Kids and everybody else adopted kids, Charlie Theron, everybody that's ever adopted Sandra Bullock. I adopted you because I felt that you could, you know, um, enjoy also having a black parent to take care of you and help you out. So, um, um, just clarify because it's, it's crazy out here online. So, so <laughs> you play with the kids. You know, so you have if you don't have what they need, they're gonna leave. Right. Gotta right. keep them there. Right. You need, you need locks on the doors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, this is sounding kind of Someone you would want to be stuck in an elevator with. Kevin Hart. Okay. <laughs> Women Wait. who talk baby talk in bed. <laughs> really? Not, this is not how you play the game? <laughs> really? Yeah, really? Yeah. That's a turn on somebody talking baby talk to you. 
No, 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 he's just talking. No, talking dirty. No, no, baby talk. Talking, baby talk is in the category yeah, yeah. talking dirty. Is it, is it a baby hey, yo, or let like me, baby? Let me, explain, let me explain something to you. There's no rules in talking dirty. There's no rules in talking dirty. I don't want to be with a baby. That's not my thing. I want her to talk baby talk. Diddy had been trying to get to Bieber for a minute. And his management was backing him off. But it wasn't until Usher took over management and had guardianship and gave temporary guardianship to the diddler for 48 hours. Think about that. He'd already been to the hospital. That situation that Gene was talking about. Mm. And you still took Bieber there. But you got custody of him first. Yeah. Diddy had already tried. They wouldn't let him. Actually, someone made reference to the fact that Diddy trying to get at Bieber the way he was trying to get at Bieber was looking a little predatory. And then Usher came in and discovered it and managed him and got custody of him and promised to look after him. And then he sent him to the diddler. Does that sound like a good guy? It's horrible, it's horrible. Does that sound like a good guy? Now that we know what Diddy's really like. They're not seeing what the intentions was in his heart when he took Justin Bieber there. Oh. Let's be honest. He mm. took Justin Bieber. As far as like, whereas that, if I could say this, like you have a girl uh, being sexual to this one guy, maybe going down on him. Mm -hmm. And he's back there rolling his eyes, he's he hiding the mother. And he, when, he, when he put his head down, it's one of them white boys sucking on him. Oh. You understand? That has happened. You understand what I'm saying? Then you got these guys who they go into these Turkish houses. Once you get to that door, you don't go back in there. But you know what they do in them Turkish houses. Well, you can assume what they do. We just finished washing Carisha truck. Yeah. And, 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 and Mama Combs. Mama Combs convertible, new, new brand new. Yeah. That brand new. That thing is pristine. <laughs> Mama Combs, how you like the slippery soap? Yo, I actually washed the car because I'm supporting my brother. I'm not just buying slippery soap. I'm actually using it myself. So, yo, just just stay tuned to see Diddy and Rose walk. Kids have like an hour left. So get extra comfortable, kids, because after that, y'all got to go. It's a wrap for y'all because this thing turns into something that when y'all get older, y'all don't want to come to. Okay? So, you know, let's just start to get our groove on a little bit. In an hour, we put the kids away, it's all good. All right, DJ, let's hit it. Let's do it. Come on. Okay, now. Hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah, yeah that's what's up. Yeah. I see you always gallivanting around to all these trips that Kim and I aren't invited on. You wouldn't pick up for the weekend and leave your kids? You don't have help on the weekends. I'm not saying I want to go. Oh, dis. So who was with you this weekend? A bunch of my friends. Diddy, Quincy. Justin Bieber, so far French so good. Montana. <laughs> Do you even know half the people you're naming? No. Are you drinking, Chloe? No. You have to get these margaritas Please. out of here. Why aren't you drinking? Drink drink yeah. yeah. Last night. She didn't go to bed. I haven't been to bed yet. You haven't? I, I want to be Chloe when I grow up, Court. Oh, you're just so little. Like, like my balls are just <laughs> going. <laughs> I got on a plane at 5.30 a.m. Well, this party, I think half the people there were butt naked. You would have loved it. This morning, watch how federal agents took Sean Diddy Combs into custody. He's seen in this video entering the Park Hyatt Hotel in Midtown Manhattan with others when agents from Homeland Security Investigations approach and separate him. They place Combs under arrest and lead him out the front door in handcuffs. His lawyer said Combs had come to New York two weeks earlier with the intention of turning himself in. He did not expect the agents to be waiting at his hotel last Monday night. When I had nothing in me to, to give. Like, I let one human being make me so low 
that like I didn't even remember who I was. I was scared to get in the studio. Like I, I didn't believe in myself. I didn't. All of a sudden, in Miami, I started catching a vibe as soon as I went to Miami. Like as soon as I changed locations, mm -hmm. started catching a vibe. And then one day I got the vibe, it's time to go to New York. And you were there and you saw what was happening and it started being incredible. Coco Chanel, sure. Miami, sure. Um, Good Form. All of those things just started as mumbles in the studio in New York. That's how he operates. He has people followed, he has people watched. He does all kinds of things. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> Too much money. I feel, I feel bad for the kids. Aubrey O'Day isn't holding back her thoughts on Sean Diddy Combs's bombshell legal troubles. Aubrey noted in a social media post that she feels hope that Diddy's case marks a long awaited turning point, writing, the purpose of justice is to provide an ending and allow us the space to create a new chapter. Women never get this. I feel validated. Today is a win for women all over the world, not just me. Things are finally changing. Today, we're going to take a look at the latest news that's making headlines. What did LeBron James have to say about the recent arrest of Diddy? The rumor mill started turning with a tweet that said, LeBron knew about Diddy's arrest before it was made public. While it's not clear if the source is reliable, it certainly got people talking, including fans and the media. As you probably know, LeBron and Diddy used to be really close. As a matter of fact, LeBron once famously said, there's no party like a Diddy party, which highlighted their many appearances together at various events. So when LeBron decided to unfollow Diddy on Instagram recently, fans couldn't help but wonder what was going on. There's a lot of speculation that LeBron might be trying to distance himself from Diddy now that Diddy is facing some serious legal issues. To be honest, when I first started looking into this, I found a lot more information than I expected. It's not just about LeBron and Diddy having fun at parties together. On 18th of September 2024, rumors started doing the rounds, suggesting that LeBron had some inside info about Diddy's arrest. This rumor started with a parody Twitter account that said LeBron had said, It's crazy. I was listening to Mo Money Mo Problems earlier today, and I just had this feeling that today would be the day the feds would catch Diddy. This claim, although it seems a bit far-fetched, really got people talking and fueled more speculation about their friendship and what was going on with Diddy. It might just be fake news, but it got people talking because of LeBron's long-time friendship with Diddy. Let me explain. Diddy has been a big NBA fan for a long time and has always been friendly with LeBron. Just a year before Diddy's arrest, he even praised LeBron, saying that he had the best voice in the NBA. You might be wondering why that matters, but it's connected to an Instagram story where LeBron was seen singing along to one of Diddy's songs from his latest album, Love Off The Grid. Oh, and that album is a key factor in Diddy's legal issues, as one of the producers has said he's offended and has seen criminal activity involving high-profile people. Since Diddy's arrest, LeBron has been trying to move on from their friendship online, but it's not that easy to erase the past. Just unfollowing someone on social media doesn't erase years of friendship, especially when Diddy publicly referred to LeBron as his brother after sharing a video of LeBron enjoying one of his songs. Diddy was keen to promote his first solo album in two decades, and having a sports star like LeBron singing along was a big boost for him. Let's move on to September 2023. Diddy was riding high on the success of his album release, but shortly after, everything began to unravel. Despite LeBron's attempts to create some distance, the reality is that they've been close for many years. Back in 2018, Diddy sent LeBron a mysterious gift box, which was just one of many he sent to his famous friends. Inside the box were limited edition sneakers, nothing out of the ordinary, but it still shows the strength of their friendship. There's also a video doing the rounds that shows LeBron at one of Diddy's infamous parties. 
When Diddy later issued an apology for his behaviour in another viral video, it raised questions as to why LeBron chose to unfollow him only after that apology was made public. It's worth mentioning that the allegations against Diddy from his ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, emerged long before this video was released. On the topic of Cassie, her lawsuit against Diddy, filed in November 2023, is likely a significant reason why LeBron decided to unfollow him. Cassie has gone into detail about her experiences of alleged abuse, claiming that Diddy drugged her, physically assaulted her, and even forced her into terrifying situations. This is a pretty serious situation, and it seems that LeBron, like many others, is trying to step away from Diddy's circle quietly. However, the internet has a long memory and plenty of evidence. There's a thread on Reddit that's getting a lot of attention. People are debating whether LeBron ever went to one of Diddy's notorious parties. Some people say he didn't, but there's enough evidence to suggest otherwise. There's even a video from 2018 that shows LeBron having a good time at Diddy's birthday party. It's not just LeBron who's been linked to Diddy. His son Bryce was also seen with Diddy's twin daughters at their high school homecoming dance in October 2023. People are already wondering if there might be a romance between Bryce and one of the twins. Even though LeBron might want to keep his distance from Diddy, it's obvious that their families have a lot in common. However, with these serious allegations, particularly those related to Diddy's so-called freak-off parties, many people are starting to question LeBron's involvement. It's worth noting that LeBron's reputation as a basketball superstar is now under scrutiny due to his past relationship with Diddy. So what's the real story here? Was LeBron aware of more than he's letting on? Did he actually party with Diddy at these outrageous events, or is it all just rumour? It's hard to get to the bottom of this, but one thing is clear. LeBron is trying to make it clear that he wants to be seen as separate from any potential fallout. However, in this digital age, nothing stays hidden for long. It doesn't matter if it's about Diddy's alleged criminal activities or LeBron's connections to them. People are actively investigating, and it's clear that this story is far from over. The ongoing drama is still grabbing the public's attention, prompting more questions than answers.